G'day guys, Gold Digger Dave here, and what a magnificent afternoon out in the home of Big Gold, Malagal, Central Victoria. Now look, uh, we've been uh, lucky enough to uh, have permission to camp on uh, our mate's block out here, and uh, blow me down, uh, we've actually been able to find the uh, remnants of an original puddling machine on the actual block. So I'm just going to give you a quick look at what that's all about now. Okay, now I'm standing on the actual edge where the horse would have uh, gone around. You can see as I walk around this way, all of this is uh, the original part of the puddling machine and it goes all the way around. I'll just wander around to show you what size it actually was. It was all around here was where the horse used to walk. Up out of the middle uh, section there, there would have been a uh, pole coming up and the horse would have been uh, tethered to that pole and it would just walk around here all day stirring up the uh, wash dirt that was in the puddling machine, hence the name puddling. So what would happen after a while, you would find there would be some water would come from the dam that would have been in behind me somewhere here and that would have uh, been put in possibly by a, a, a whip bar which is a canvas bucket that they used to use on a pole and they'd actually push that down, swing it round and move the water in. As they puddled the dirt around, it broke up all the clays and things like that and all the gravels so that the heavy stuff actually went down into this channel part here. And then periodically, the uh, guy who was running the puddling machine, and he would have been charging people to puddle their dirt, he would be flicking out the uh, bigger rocks out to the side where some of those would be checked and you'd end up with a slurry in the bottom here. Once they'd puddled it long enough, they took that slurry out then they'd either put it through their cradle or rocker box or they would um, pan it off uh, along this creek here or something along those lines. So quite a substantial puddler for the, for the site here, um, just as it was uh, literally left. The little bit of an outlet that I see through here, and it's only just a small dip that runs through here, would have been where they had the original area to drain the water back out, and that would have gone back down the creek there. So this was a constant process of uh, stirring up the, the pay dirt that was in here. And quite probably this would have originally all been lined with uh, boards all around the inside and on the base. And that's how they were actually able to puddle it. Over the years, um, the boards may have uh, rotted away or in some cases uh, back in the 1930s, the uh, second rush through a lot of areas in the depression, they would have actually taken the boards out of the puddling machine and burnt them to get any of the gold that was stuck in the uh, cracks, crevices or in the grains of the uh, wooden boards that were in there. So that's a little bit about the uh, puddling machine, how it worked. Uh, that's an original example of one. Now if we look over behind me here, we've actually got uh, an old chimney still remaining in the background. And I've had uh, both the Coffee Bush Kid and Beachy Bruce wandering around putting in some little chicken sticks on targets that they think are worth investigating with the Manticore machines. Now that would have been a substantial dwelling uh, given the size of the chimney that's still there and that is fairly well intact still for uh, remnants in the goldfields area. Uh, there would have been a number of people living there we assume because of the size of the uh, fireplace. We'll get some shots of that in a little while and uh, more than likely it was probably the guy who ran and operated this puddling machine and that was how he made his living, built his house and lived out on the goldfields here in Maligal, Central Victoria. Music